Uh, Delano D'Souza, who uh, has uh, been listening in uh, to that uh, speech, Bolton, who goes to a second round. That's right, Elizabeth Bourne going to a second round next week. She managed to secure about 32 uh, percent of the vote in the first round uh, today. Uh, this is the first time she has ever run uh, for public office. Uh, Elizabeth Bourne did uh, speak about the low turnout, the historically low turnout uh, for these legislative elections, and she said that that is a problem. Clearly, things still up in the air for the Ensemble or Together Coalition, center-right coalition, going uh, for for these legislative elections because the Esther show that they could get between 255 to 295 seats uh, in the National Assembly. And of course, they need that magic number of 289 seats out of the 577. Uh, if they want to keep the majority in Parliament, they need that majority in Parliament to push through reforms, which the President uh, has uh, promised, reforms which include reforming the country's pension system. Now, if uh, the, the Together Coalition fails to cobble together that majority in Parliament, then what we're going to see is five years of policy paralysis here in France, where nothing is going to, uh, to make it through Parliament because it's most likely will be blocked by the opposition, or by the ruling uh, party, sorry. Delano D'Souza, many thanks uh, for that live update. We'll be crossing in uh, uh, as those estimates keep coming in and become uh, actual results. Yes, you're watching France 24 on election night. The polls closing one hour ago. First round of legislative elections. François Picard with Mark Perlman. Let's cross to Diptyka Laurent, who's at the big board. Uh, projections from our partners Ipsos uh, showing that there's all to play for when it comes to Emmanuel Macron securing a majority next Sunday. That's right, Francois. It's still very much up in the air. Let's have a look at some of those results. Uh, Emmanuel Macron's party picking up, uh, projected to pick up 255 to 295 seats. In fact, we're getting some of the results of uh, individual constituencies. And uh, we, we know that uh, Damien Abad, his Minister for Solidarity, uh, is on track with uh, to a second round with 33% against a candidate from that left-leaning coalition led by Jean-Luc Mélenchon. That coalition has is projected to pick up about 150 to 190 seats, while you have Mine Le Pen's National Rally, the far-right party, uh, on track to get about 20 to 45 seats. It might not seem like a lot, but it's still uh, well above the 50 needed to form a parliamentary group, so that at least is good news uh, for her. But of course, a big number, the magic number is uh, 289. That is one more than half needed to get that much coveted majority in the National Assembly, Francois. Deep Laurent.